what's flu season. Yep. They, they tell us it is. And we're starting to see advertisements from the vaccine industries and various agencies to go out and get your flu shot. Yeah. And so I thought it would be interesting to pull the package insert for this year's flu shot and take a look and just report out from an informed consent standpoint, which is what I'm all about. I don't care if you get a vaccine, whatever you want to get, you should have the right to do that or not do that, but you should always have informed consent. So I grabbed the package insert and I read through it and wanted to look. A couple of things that I think were of important note. The first is the FDA requires in the package insert that you put forward the studies that brought the product to market. Like what was it that the um, studies that were done that showed efficacy? Well, interestingly, they don't require any of the newer versions of the flu shots to be actually tested. So it's all based on old studies from as far back as 2009. So you don't even have efficacy studies of the current batch of flu vaccine to see if it works. The only way we know it works is after the fact, when we look back at the end of the season and we see who got flu shots and who didn't, and who got the flu. So that's number one, buyer beware. The second is the list of ingredients and it's right in the package insert. And there are two ingredients that I think it's important to take note of. First of all, and it's not my opinion, it's in the insert, is there's formaldehyde that's used as a preservative. Wow. Formaldehyde. That's the same stuff that if I do a biopsy and I put it in a little jar to send it to the pathologist, that's formaldehyde. Mm -hmm. And also thimerosal. Thimerosal is a mercury-derived preservative. So the, the batches of flu shot that are multi-dose vials have mercury in it. So you're putting formaldehyde and mercury into your body with these flu shots with a product that has not even been tested to see if it works. And then on the very back of the package insert, it says, if there are any side effects, report it to the VERS system, hmm. V-E-R-S, Vaccine uh, Adverse Event Reporting System, V-A-R-S, VERS. Now, you may recall during COVID-19 when the shots were rolling out, that there is a lot of reports going to the VAR system and the manufacturers of these vaccines said, don't listen to the VAR system. It's not accurate. There's a lot of bogus reporting going on. It's not a good system. Yet here in the current version of the flu vaccine, they're recommending that we report adverse events to the VAR system. So it's kind of interesting that they wanna you know, have it both ways. And then finally, and importantly, a reminder that the vaccine company, in this case, the package insert, Santa Fe Pasteur, is immune from all liability, meaning if you're injured from this product, you have no recourse. You're you're you know, you're out of luck. So that's the case with all these vaccine companies. They have no liability. There's no studies that actually prove efficacy in the in the uh, situation of the flu shot. And there's some really weird ingredients that you'll be putting into your body. So that's all. I just want people to know. And then they can decide whether they think it's a good idea to get it or not get it. So simple as that. And even in the package insert, they say the public uh, should be given this information before getting a vaccination. Of course, nobody has ever given informed consent. They just are given the shot, often for free at your local pharmacy. Have a nice day. I hope you don't have any side effects. <laughs> but I, what I what I don't understand is, I mean, it's been a long time since the flu has been around. And, you know, people get it. Now, I understand people do, you know, pass away from getting the flu. But, you know, we've all had the flu here. And, you know, it's not fun. But why would anyone want to? Why would anyone want to put all that crap in their body? Like when well, you can the, the stay home and just drink, you know, chicken soup. Marketing. So they're marketed. And, you know, if you go to any pharmacy to pick up whatever, there's big posters that encourage you to get your flu shot that shouldn't be allowed, by the way. You shouldn't be able to market to somebody without giving them proper informed consent. So it's on TV, it's on now football season is going and you see all kinds of advertisement for pharma on football games. Yeah. And doctor's offices are incentivized to give out the flu shot. And what do I mean by that? Meaning it's a they can charge for an office visit to come in and get the flu shot. There's a markup on the product. They bill insurance. 
I don't remember what the cost is, but let's just say, you know, I can buy this stuff for 10 bucks and I can charge 20 to the insurance company. There's a administration fee and so forth. So there's a lot of money in these vaccines and there's new vaccines that are coming out all the time. And now they're using messenger RNA products uh, that were discovered and used during COVID. And there's article after article. I like the, the Epic Times. Uh, they have a mind and body section, which is really nice. And this was in the mind and body section. And it talks about the messenger RNA technology and how it can interfere with our immune system. And it's not definitive, but it's important. And there's there's injury signals from these vaccines yeah. all over the place. And again, informed consent. Just tell the truth and then let make let the public make their own decision. Stop with this nonsense marketing as if we're marketing, you know, Cheerios or Fruit Loops or Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, by the way, which was my favorite growing up as a kid. And I did a post on that and that stuff is poison. Yeah, it is. Back to Lucky Charms.